My gummy worms melted into one giant piece and it looks like stained glass. I bet it doesn't taste like stained glass though. Go on, take a big old bite, you deserve it. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to MK. I'm your host, Robin. Yeah, I know, I'm back. <laughs> Weird, right? And today we're gonna be taking a look at r slash mildly interesting. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Will we find out if r slash mildly interesting is somehow more exciting than r slash funny? Well, let's get right in and find out, shall we? Picked up a quintuplet acorn from my yard. I feel like this is a little bit more than mildly interesting. What are the freaking odds of that? This apartment statue of two bears looking at each other in my city. Okay, that one is mildly interesting. The flower on this tree looks like a little hummingbird. Oh my god, it really does. That's significantly more uncanny than I would have guessed. The progression of this blanket as my daughter started learning, then really improved at crochet. <laughs> That's so cool! You can see her experience in real time. Also, uh, what are her prices? I would love to buy a blanket. My remote is so old, it has a Blockbuster button. No frickin' way. What in the world would that button have done? I know Blockbuster kinda tried to jump in on Netflix's bandwagon, but ultimately <laughs> failed. I didn't know they tried hard enough to put a button on a remote. The kettle looks like a butt. Yes, it does. It most certainly does. Kinda looks a little bit like my butt. Smooth and shiny. Well, how about that? Really, what are the odds of some of these photographs so far? A blue clipper just happens to land on its own infographic? Come on. Dead cicada looks like Darth Vader. Oh, oh man, I despise bugs. But if there's one thing I hate more than bugs, it's dead ones, because they scare me just as bad. There is a brief moment of terror, where you think you've stumbled upon a horrifying insect in your bathroom, only to learn that it's a dead horrifying insect, and now you kind of have to get rid of it. Three ears I grew from the same heirloom corn variety. Oh, those are beautiful. The fruity pebbles of corn. <laughs> Seriously, those can't be real. They're too pretty. My son and I received nearly identical cuts in the exact same spot on our wrists on the same day. Jeez. Hold on. Let me take a closer look. Yeah. Wow. Verifiably impressive. A lot of these are, I would say, more than mildly interesting so far. Looks like r slash funny is getting its ass kicked all over the place, huh? I'm getting loads more entertainment out of this one. Tipped a bucket of dirty water down the sink and it made a pretty cool pass. Pattern. Ooh, I'll say that's a cool pattern. Now please clean your sink. Twinkies and Pop-Tarts in the Swedish Disgusting Food Museum. Hey, whoa! What the hell, Swedes? What's your problem? I know they're not exactly healthy, but they're delightful. Kiss my ass. You wanna talk about disgusting foods? Why don't you go on over to Lexi's TikTok or YouTube and take a look at the types of stuff that she reviews, and then come back to me and say Twinkies and yeah, Pop-Tarts are yeah, disgusting, yeah, okay? Yeah. Storm drains in Japan are so pretty. You know, from what I've seen, Everything in Japan is pretty. Why would I be surprised that the storm drain covers are too? You hear that, Japan? You win at everything, including manhole covers. God! The frozen droplets on the freezer ceiling at my work. Oh, that kind of creeps me out. I immediately get a fight or flight response from seeing those. An economy class meal on a Japanese airline. Oh my god, is that beer? No freaking way. Dude, this is so unfair. I'm about to take a flight to the United Kingdom and I swear to god it's gonna be nine hours of me wishing I had a package of peanuts. Thanks, United. A bowling pin shaped egg from my chicken. Wow, she squeezed a little too hard on that one, huh? Eggplants that actually look like eggs. Isn't it because they're not quite ripe yet? Look, I clearly don't know too much about vegetation or vegetables in general. If you've seen what I look like, you'll understand. But these don't look like they're ready. Whoa, that would definitely make me do a double take. What's Dave Grohl doing all the way out here in the forest? There are fish that live in the flooded basement of an abandoned building by my job. Life, uh... 
finds a way. Frozen hard-boiled egg. Ooh, ooh, I don't like that at all. Wow, no thanks, guys. Looks like my fingertips after getting out of my one hour long shower. I took this picture of my apartment's business room and it looks like a video game. You cannot convince me that that's an actual photograph of an actual place. I refuse to believe it. This is 100% the setting for a horror game and you're not gonna convince me otherwise. You can tell which one of my lenses has a prescription by the shadows they cast. That's actually incredibly nifty, what the hell? A bunch of golf balls cut in half. Wow, I was not expecting this much of a disparity between each and every golf ball. I mean, have we not standardized how we make golf balls? Everything we grew during quarantine. Tomato basil, sage, chili, lemon, leeks, and our first ever lemon harvest. Man, I can't even get a peace lily to stay alive. How are you doing this? You know, this is the second time I have seen some inanimate object accidentally create a treble clef, and I'm speechless. I'm genuinely speechless. Oh, would you look at that? You found my heart. Where was it this time, hmm? Oh, it was buried in the ground again? Yeah, that figures. A mouse was trying to hide in a vine in my room this morning. Uh-huh, very stealthy, young Padawan. Hmm, but not good enough. This perfectly square ice crystal that formed on my ice lolly. Huh, well, would you look at that? An unknown illness emerges in China. 59 infected, reporting from January of 2020. Unknown illness hits China. Local authorities have ruled out SARS and bird flu as the cause of a disease that has affected 59 people. Oh God, I hate seeing that so goddamn much. Could have stopped it so much sooner. <laughs> oh, wow. This jerky ships with a flosser inside. Well, thank God. You know how needed that is? That crap is not only expensive, but it's gonna get stuck places it shouldn't. My four-year-old kitty with dwarfism with her normal-sized son, about six weeks old. Yaw. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like me and my mom. My mom's like five foot five. I'm six foot three. <laughs> Whoa, what in the world's going on here? I genuinely don't like it. The spatula that came with the cake from a Korean bakery has matches inside and a spot on the back of the spatula to light them. Huh, that seems a little unnecessary. Wouldn't a standard box of matches on the side do just as well? What? It, this can't be something that happens every time, right? Like there's absolutely no way. Found this newspaper movie section from 1980 during some home construction. Ooh, let's see what we got. All right, Goldie Hawn in Private Benjamin. Never saw that. Is that Xanadu in the top there? I did unfortunately see that one. Flash Gordon, never saw it. Empire Strikes Back, of course I've freaking seen it. Lovers and Liars another Goldie Hawn movie, I don't care. And then, ooh, would you look at that? I'm thinking Arby's, what about you? No, what about Jakey's then? That's right, Nakey Jakey, I'm thinking of you. On September 2nd, 2019, a dog park record was established. Four dogs, in quick succession, peed on one woman. You have no idea how happy it makes me that someone out there, whether they're a city official or not, decided to commemorate this perfect occasion with a plaque nailed to the tree. That looks absolutely delicious. I'm no longer thinking Arby's or Jakey's, I'm thinking IHOP. Let's go. This picture I took today looks like it was taken 40 years ago. Was it not taken 40 years ago? Is the UK really stuck in time? <laughs> Comparison of a fully pollinated cucumber to a poorly pollinated one. Yes, you see, without bees, we are all going to die. Or rather, not just bees specifically, but any insect that pollinates, like bees. There are a few insects on my radar that while they still terrify me despite being a little bit cute, you know, like bumblebees, I will never, ever harm one. Wear a face covering. Okay, I don't like the way that guy's looking at me though. He's got a pretty neat hat though. My dad has sand from over 200 places from around the world. It's actually a pretty cool collection and incredibly unique to him. Oh, is that the black sand from Iceland? Hell yeah! The tomato we grew looks like Sauron's eye. Put the ring back. Cast it back into the fire from whence it came. Aw, I'm so happy that you're all so happy to see me. <laughs> I'm gonna scoop your face out and eat it. This never ending ish design on a can of non stick spray. Wow, that just keeps on going, doesn't it? <laughs> It is somewhat interesting when a company makes something like this and overthinks the design. 
Springfield, Oregon has lots of Simpsons murals. Wow, those look incredible. God, I really need to get back to Oregon someday. My plane has Star Wars themed seats. Discovered Curious George getting high on ether in one of my kids' books. George was very curious. It smelled funny. Suddenly, his head began to turn. Then he felt as if he were flying. Then, rings and stars danced before his eyes. Then everything went dark. No, George! No! Why do you have to go out like this? That's actually really, really cool. That might almost make up for the egregious bag charges and other garbage you have to deal with while on a plane. Not completely, but almost. Squids have teeth in their suction cups that need to be cleaned out before cooking. Wow, I didn't know that. Now that I do, I'm really glad I'm never ever going to prepare squid on my own. Our food delivery came with the temperatures of the chef and packer to be COVID safe. That's something I would absolutely not mind seeing going forward, DoorDash. My mom's original ticket to see the Beatles 1965 Shea Stadium concert. Damn right it better be framed. That's a really cool piece of history your mom's got. I found a pebble that looks like a slice of French toast. Dude, I am not gonna lie. I would have bit down on this thing. The pattern made from cleaning my bike's valve face looks like a Tolkien map. <laughs> It does! Good lord! Yo, is that Mordor down there? Found a moose tooth in the creek. Holy god, that is utterly massive. Yes, I am your Uber driver. Where are we going? Oh, I know exactly where that is. It'll take us about seven years. Wall at my house looks like a giant upvote. Not bad. Not bad at all. This picture I took in a mine shows glass that has 2% of uranium. That's why it glows in ultraviolet light. That is gorgeous. What the hell? If you needed any evidence to believe just how easily impressed I am, me gawking at all of this crap from mildly interesting definitely proved it. <laughs> I have smooth brain. I apologize. Olive Garden USB drive that looks like a bag of breadsticks. Where the hell can I get an Olive Garden USB drive? This vintage record player slash radio upcycled into a mid-century modern cat bed featuring Owen the cat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Owen seems to really enjoy it. This vitamin tablet matches my kitchen countertop. It matches it far too well. That freaks me out a little bit. Some of these have spooked me just a tiny, tiny bit. I wouldn't recommend taking your cookies and cream tablet. You might want to go back and get something different. This grocery display contains both watermelon and watermelon cakes. Hmm. Watermelon cakes. Are they also flavored like watermelon? Because good god, I hope not. This public foot spa in Japan designed so that wheelchair users can use it too. That is incredibly thoughtful. How kind. Yet again, Japan wins. Attempted to make the MK logo in Minecraft map. Or as a Minecraft map, rather. Holy crap. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but it certainly wasn't that. Absolutely incredible. Look at the effort here. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of another video. Well, at least we know that Mildly Interesting and pretty much every other subreddit out there beats the living daylights out of r slash funny. <laughs> All right, you know the drill. If you even somewhat enjoyed this video, consider dropping a like down below. And if you really enjoyed it, well, then consider subscribing and clicking that bell icon. And until next time, we'll catch you later.